that will can and will kick our asses. Kadabra eventually evolves into Alakazam, but only by trade, which is why I didn't get one, which is such bullshit. One of the best Pokemon in the game only gets its final evolution by evolve by trading it, which sucks because of you know, Okay, good, it's still hit. It sucks because I'm on an emulator, so I literally can't trade. And with that, we'll just finish off with a tackle. Oh, please don't... Oh, thank God, good thing I switched. That's right, I forgot it had disabled. Yeah, disable that, motherfucker. That's right, you can, because you're dead. Yes, we will switch out Pokemon. Oh, look, we're sending out Hilton. Yeah, Hilton, you're going to do so good. You're just going to kick so much ass. I believe in you. I really do. I honestly believe that you can be the very best on our team. No, Hilton, don't look terrified like that. It, it can't hurt you that much. He's very nice. He's very tame. He won't slaughter you mercilessly. Shit. That's not good. Thought I had some better potions. Oh, well. Take one for the team, Hilton! <laughs> and then Hilton died! Uh, he's not at full health, but I think he'll be able to manage. He's seven levels higher than Karate Chopura! Oh, critical hit! Wow, yeah, he did do pretty good against the Charmeleon. <laughs> 600... Yeah, he's gonna... Now, right, this Raticate. There's actually an interesting fan theory about this Raticate that I'll go over soon, but... Well, I'll go over part of it right now, and I'll finish it later. The theory is that this Raticate dies right here, and seeing as how I one-shotted it, it's, it probably did die. But later, you find your rival in, like, a graveyard in Lavender Town, and he doesn't have the Raticate with you anymore, so the theory is that you killed his Raticate. It's one of the few interesting Pokémon theories there are. <laughs> And it's one of the two that I believe in. The other one we'll get to later. I heard there was a Cut Master on board. He was just a seasick old man. Cut is real itself is really useful. Yep, it'll be handy. You should go see him too. Smell ya. Oh, I'll smell you, Baller, you sexy Californian motherfucker. Also, he's full of shit. Cut sucks. <laughs> Cut is one of the worst moves in the entire game, and I will show you why. Urgh, I feel hideous. Urgh, seasick. Fallout rub the captain's... <laughs> We just show up into a guy, we, he doesn't know who we are, we barely know who he is, he's vomiting, and our first reaction is to, is to rub his back. Wow, we're nice. Wow, that's... You, thank you, I'm feeling much better now. How? You wanna see my hidden cut technique? I could show you my prize cut technique if it weren't so ill. I know, you can have this, this hidden machine. Teach cut to your Pokémon, and you can see it cut anytime. And we obtained HM01, probably the second most useless HM in the entire history of Pokemon. Using Cut, you can chop down small trees. Why not try it with the trees around Vermilion City? And that's basically all we're doing on the SSN. I'm sure there's other optional stuff you can do on here, but quite frankly, I don't want to do it. You can look it up on Bulbapedia or some... I was about to say some other walkthrough, but don't look up another walkthrough. I love you. Please don't leave. <laughs> Please? I'm funny? <laughs> and then the boat goes bye-bye, and we won't see it again for a long time. Do we turn giant, or does the boat just, like, have a tiny little shrinking ray in it that just completely just shrinks you when you walk in? It's kind of weird. Or maybe they just couldn't afford to make the sprite big. And we'll never see that boat again until we beat the game. Which, funny story about that. You can, in gold and silver and crystal, you can actually come back to Kanto after you're done with Johto, and you can be on the SSN again. Well, my cousin, he borrowed the game, and I was on the SSN in the profile, but he couldn't figure out how to get off the boat. I had a level 60-something Typhlosion and a few other really good Pokémon. He deleted the file, because he couldn't get off. I didn't talk to him for a bit. And then because, well, we were children and we had no means of communication because we weren't in the same grade. But still, the fact remains. Out here's Route 11. You can find some trainers to battle out here. I don't think there's any Pokémon worthy of note. I thought there was when I first started recording, but it turns out he doesn't show up until a while, but you can get some decent items like this X-Defend, I think there's another one. Let's get by that. 
Oh wow, we just barely managed to get by him. And down here is a Great Ball. Great Balls are basically exactly like Pokeballs, except, you know, they're great. Which they just put that one word from and they can charge you more. And out here, we're just gonna skip this town completely and just go right... Oh wait, we can't. There's a legs in the way. Which, I don't understand why we can't just kill it and make it leave, but hey, it's actually kind of really high level. We'd probably get our asses kicked. But never mind that. Let's just go back to the gym. Or, well, not back to the gym yet. There's something else I want to show you. Let's completely skip all these trainers because they're pointless to us. Uh, no, he's fine. Oh, wow, I thought he was going to see us right there. Thank Christ again. Instead of a trainer battle that we get around about. Ooh, Spiro. Spiro's actually a really good flying type because it evolves into a Fero, which is has good attack, good speed, learns some good moves, you know, all that, yada, yada, yada. Good Pokemon. Get it if you want a flying type. Down here, Diglett's Cave. This is one of the most useful areas around here because the gym in this area is an electric gym, and down here you can catch, I think, I'm not entirely sure, correct me if you're wrong, but this is the first time you encounter a ground type in the entire game. And you can actually catch a pretty high level Doug Trio if you get really lucky in this area. And if you use that against the gym, you'll basically be unstoppable. But as you see here, oh, we can't escape. Wait, does not have to be? Oh, let me, I'll just um, cut it when I'm where I want to be. Right, we actually came out near, uh, Diglett's Cave, where are we exactly? I kind of forget. I think we're near... Fade Pokemon just has no air lights, so we can still use cut outside of battle. Is this kid going to trade with us? Abra, we'll trade one for my Mr. Mime. That's actually not that bad of a trade, since you can't get Alakazam unless you trade to a friend, like a real-life friend. Yeah, those exist. Um, Mr. Mime's a really good alternative because he has fucking beastly... Special attack, good speed, learns fantastic moves. Um, I wouldn't really call him an alternative because he's almost he's pretty much just as good as Alakazam, so if you want a psychic type, then yeah, go for it. The only downside he has a really fucking stupid name. And right, I'll see you back once we get to the gym. And we're back right here in front of the Vermilion Gym. We can use this cut and cut it down using Hilton, of course, our friendly neighborhood HM slave. And now we're going to fight the electric gym. Yo, champ in the making. Lieutenant Surge has a nickname. People refer to him as the Lightning American. Sorry, I, I felt like singing Guile's theme. He's an expert on electric Pokemon. Bird slash water type Pokemon match poorly against the electric type. Beware of paralysis, too. Lieutenant Surge is very cautious. He locked himself in, so it won't be easy getting to him. So he's supposed to be this big, bad American badass yet. But of course, Baller's already gotten here. Yet, he locks himself up so we can't get to him unless we activate certain switches, which they're kind of a pain in the ass to find, if I remember correctly, which I hope I do. Also, don't remember engineers being in this game, but hey, what are you gonna do? Oh yeah, Loop leveled up a bit while it was off screen. Also, Voltorb. Voltorb's really good if you can find where to catch one. I can't remember where. I think it's around here. I might be wrong. I should probably look that up. I won't look it up, I'll let you look it up, the viewer. Oops, yeah, you, now you get a critical hit. It's really fast and it's fucking awesome electric type. Yes, I will actually switch Pokemon because something magical is about to happen. Well, not really magic, it's more science, but shut up. He's sending out Magnemite. Whatever we'll, we do, it's not like it's we have a super effective attack against it or anything. Oh wait, it's exactly like we have a super effective attack against it or anything. And he faints, and we gain 400 experience points. Oh, okay, cool, level 28. I, that's a good, even number, looks nice. It's, it's all pretty and stuff. We defeated Engineer Bailey. Fried. Uh, I guess nothing else to ha Wait. What? We finally have Tog evolve into a Primeape. This is where the game just becomes unfair because Primeape in one of my playthroughs was an absolute wrecking powerhouse. 
Oh god, he's trying to burn rage. Is rage any good? Let's see. Uh, rage does more damage each time you're hit, but we don't really need that with our current attack, so we'll just not learn it. So, yeah, we won't learn rage. Right, Primate is a physical sweeper through and through. He has great attack, learns good fighting moves, and he's really fucking fast. He just becomes an absolute wrecking powerhouse. Right, as for me, um, I'm gonna all screen a bunch of the stuff. I'll be back right before we're about to fight Lieutenant Sir, so I'll see you then. Right, that puzzle's fucking stupid. Basically, what you do is you find where the first switch is, and then the second switch is either above, below, or beside it. And it's just... it's... it's... it's just... not skill-based. It's just... guessing. It's stupid. Hey, it's done. Right, we're gonna do this required trainer fight, then we're gonna heal up, then we're gonna fight Surge. When I was in the army, Lieutenant Surge was my strict CO. He was a hard taskmaster. He made me do things. Things I ain't proud of. What kind of things? He made me kill a kid. Whoa, really? Nah, nah, he made me scrub floors and shit. I ain't, I ain't happy about that. It was very humiliating the way he carried it about. Well, you're aware I just want you out your Pikachu. You what? Uh huh, but he killed. He, he had the final lap because you're paralyzed. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, I can go to the Pokemon Center and heal that right up. Oh, well, shit. Stop, you're very good. Right, gonna head back to the Pokemon Center now. Then we are going to fight the gym in this area, which is, in case you haven't guessed from everyone saying it, myself included, Surge. Yes, we'd like to cut him. So, this is why I hate cut. It only does. 20 base damage, and it's only good for fu cutting down, like, that tree, and I think there's a few secret areas to use cut. That's all it's good for. Everything else is just pointless. It's, it's a stupid move. I hate it. The only thing that's worse is Rock Smash. Fuck Rock Smash. Because at least Cut has the nostalgia factor in it. Rock Smash is just... In Generation 3, it's just like, Oh, yeah, you have to smash these rocks. But thankfully, they made it a TM and made it no longer... Like, Actually, I take that back. Flash was the worst HM. Because it was just... Bleh. Alright, we're gonna save in case we get our ass kicked. I highly doubt we will, though. Because... We're overloved as shit. This guy's not that tough to begin with. Hey, kid. Do you think you're... What do you think you're doing here? You won't live long in combat. Not with your punny power or puny. I tell you, kid. Electric Pokemon saved me during the war. They got Johnny, though. I'll never forget you, Johnny. Johnny! Then he has a horrible war flashback and just pulls out a machine gun and kills everyone in this town. They sat my enemies in the paralysis. The same as I'll do to you. Oh, well, that's that's not very nice. Funny thing, actually, um, I know this for a fact in the manga, but I'm not sure about the anime, or it's not in the anime, but about the games. In the manga, Red's dad and Blue, both of Blue's parents were both all killed in the war. So that's, like, why Red doesn't have a dad and why Blue's an orphan. So, yeah, they died. Very tragic. Oh, and we won't shot you. See what I told you about Primate being an unstoppable beast? Yeah, that doesn't stop. He's just... The rest of the game is going to be like this. Well, he doesn't have much in the way of HP or... I think he has decent defense. I'm not sure. Have to, oh, and we get a critical! <laughs> oh, of course. We're, we're paralyzed. That's that's fantastic. Raichu. Raichu's his strongest, but it's not going to be able to stand up to us at all because just... Look at us. See, it's level 24. Unless I fuck up big time. Oh, it's much faster than us, but... Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. See, it's not very effective. Even if it gets a critical hit, it's not going to do shit against us. Oh, wow! We got a critical and didn't one-shot it. That's kind of shocking. Oh, and of course you use a super potion. Why wouldn't you, prick? They like delaying the inevitable. Also, by the way, Raichu's a really good Pokemon if you can get into Pikachu. I... <sighs> He's already using cheap tactics this early in the game. Oh, but it doesn't matter. You're dead anyways. I mean, fainted. Oh, or not. You know, that works too. You know, you don't have to... You don't have to die. You can just, you know, just prolong the, prolong the inevitable some more. 
Oh, not anymore, of course. You're dead now. I don't care what you say. I did, he, I killed him. He's dead. Forever. Because the Surge was doing a Nuzlocke. Now that's a... Shocker. Yeah! That was awful. You're the real deal, kid. Fine, then. Take this Thunder Badge. Use it to defend Gotham. In my place. Scarecrow! Right, that's a reference I won't get. Or, the Scarecrow thing. Just, fuck. The Thunder Badge cranks up your Pokemon's speed. It also lets your Pokemon fly lightning quick anytime, kid. You're special, kid. Take this. TN34's Shockwave, which is a really good move. Because it never misses. It has good power. It's in the same boat as things like, uh, I think, Feign Attack. Aura Sphere, although Aura Sphere does more damage. Little word of advice, kid. Electricity is sure powerful. But it's useless against ground type Pokemon. Which is why I recommended getting a Diglett when you um if you have trouble against this gym, because Diglett will just fucking dominate this gym. Phew, that was match was electric. Ugh, God damn it, did he tell you to make that pun? Did he? He he did, didn't he? I bet he did. Um I think that's all for this session. We made good progress. We got off the SSN. We came in this gym. We didn't catch any new members for our team yet, but I think we will in next session. In fact, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to be catching a new member and a very valuable member at that. So, um, yeah, I guess that's all for now. I've been that Fallout 3 guy. You've been the good people. And this has been the magical mystery tour of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. Good fight and good night, good people.